In this video, I'll show you how I created a smart voice assistant for home assistant using ESP Home on the Waveshare 1.85 inch speaker box device. The speaker box backlight has been turned off. Alexa shows the things you can do. I can control devices in your home assistant setup, like turning on or off lights and other switches. I can also tell you about the current state of devices and sensors in your home, such as temperature or battery levels. Additionally, I can answer general knowledge questions. You can find all the board details on the Waveshare product page. If you'd like to support me, you can buy it on Buy Me a Coffee. I'll publish it to my GitHub in a couple of weeks. There are two ways to create a new device. One is by adding a new device and selecting the board. The other is by copying files using the code server or file editor. Install the Studio Code Server from the add-on store and copy the files to the ESP Home folder. Go to the ESP Home Builder. Now the new board is added. The main YAML contains all the LVGL codes, and I'll show you that in a while. In Substitutions, I added the device name, friendly name, battery GPIO pin, and definitions, which I found in the Waveshare example codes. Since I'm using image sequences, I created a custom partition table to maximize app memory. To build the custom partition table, I used the ESP32 Partition Builder. The visual editor make makes it easy to create custom partitions for different scenarios. To learn more about the partition builder, check the video from the last outpost workshop. It's a great video and explains the partition builder very well. For the display and touch settings, I referred to the Waveshare sample code and the ESP Home documentation. In main.yaml, I included voice.yaml, which contains all the voice assistant settings. I referred to the ESP Home voice assistant documentation for the setup. I found all the GPIO pins in the Waveshare demo project. For visual feedback, I use the LVGL animing widget. For the image frames, I created three instances, idle, listening, and responding. I downloaded a GIF from Pinterest and all credit goes to the respective creator. Then I used Easy GIF to crop and resize. Check my previous video to see how to use EasyGIF. The link is in the card. I used PhotoP to adjust the required frames. I also created a bot face with a simple animation. I used image components to store each frame for the appropriate states.
I use the voice assistant's state sensor to animate each frame based on the conditions, idle, listening, and responding. This helps keep the voice assistant file clean. Once everything is set up, go to ESP Home Builder and validate the code. Then, go to Edit, Install, and select Manual Download for the first time. This will compile the code and generate the .bin file. Download the factory format bin file and flash it using ESP Home Web Flasher. Once done, restart the device, check the log, and note the IP address. Go to Settings, Devices, and Services, select ESP Home, and add a device. Enter the IP address and click Submit. Home Assistant will recognize the Voice Assistant. If anyone knows how to get more Home Assistant animations, share in the comments. The animations look nice, and I'd like to use them in future projects. The auto detection setup gave an error, so I configured it manually. For the voice pipeline, I use Google Generative AI. Go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add an Integration, then search for and add Google Generative AI. Then go to Voice Assistant and add a new assistant. The following settings work best for me. I added and styled a custom dashboard and a music assistant to test it further. If you'd like to see more videos, leave a comment. Alexa, what's the speaker box battery percentage? The speaker box battery is at 93.26%.